You know, every day is different. Three, two, one. Nine, nine, three, white. Two on your right. Been to the Coke 600 with the with, uh, 43 car with Smithfield on it. Hey, I want to hear about the Braves and Mercedes Benz Stadium in Victory Lane, okay? Tell me about it. Stuff to go in. Well, no, uh, is there not room besides the Raider? We'd have a lot of room in there if we took that card out and put the springs back where they were. Start What's season. over there now? Right. How many gas cans do we have? Three? Four? Four, four, four big cans. Four big cans. So the, the other way to do it would be like this to fit in there. Right now, that's what we've got. You know, this, this time of year as it gets late, I spent some of my morning worried about how what we're going to take to the racetrack next year to be better, to prepare for how do we better on pit road for the practice qualifying deal, how are we going to haul our toolbox and, and a new cart we're getting and, and things like that. So um, talking to the guys, making sure everybody's on board on, on how we're going to get that done. So there, there's a lot that goes on throughout the week and, it, and every day is different. You know, tomorrow will bring a different challenge than the previous Wednesday did, which, which keeps it fresh and exciting for me. Opening back here in the back, so coming to pit road, you can dart left and not have anybody. Go back, leave pit road and have no pedal. The only thing from my point of view that takes away is if you come in for gas only, you can judge on how much fuel you're taking before right. you guys coming by. That's right? true, that's true. That's yeah. the only thing that takes away, but Mike, what you're saying right. down here is you can sit there and watch, watch, yeah, watch. Yeah, no, they no. yeah, yeah. When they're the six and the two have dropped, they're coming. Yeah. And I'm like, I know I need four seconds, but we got to go. Yeah. You know, most importantly, that helps a little bit. Thing is, if you're able to go down this way, some it gets you out of the. You don't want to be here, right? Because then that's that left side yeah. guy really hurts you. Yep. That left guy guy better be pulling off before you get down here. Yes. So. Yeah. The only place that's rough when I get up on the racetrack is uh, the crossover in turn three. It steers fine. Perfectly normal, not darty or wandery or anything like that. Yeah. Well, I think I think a lot of people in the garage is real easy to say qualifying doesn't matter at these types of racetracks. You, you know, you come and go throughout the race, but as a crew chief, I think you take pride in having having your car be faster than other guys. You know, when we, we qualified in the top five at Daytona, that was that was fun, even though then you had to go race a duel. So you still try. You, you, you try to make your car as fast as possible for this one lap. Hopefully, you know, afterwards you can say, yeah, our, our car is fast, or uh, the, the alternative is the, the car, it doesn't really matter because it, it'll, it'll draft well. So I, I like this style of racing. I think you got to embrace it. When you don't embrace it, this style of racing, it's, it's, uh, it's a challenge, it's different, and there is still some strategy and, and things in it that, that I think, uh, as a crew chief, uh, you can work on and get better at. So I think I think in my role, you know, I, I, I drew a lot from my athletic background. And, uh, football coaches, other coaches in my career, uh, how do they get the most out of everybody? Um, when things aren't going your way, um, it's real easy to be down and, and out. And throughout this year, you'll inevitably have high times and low times. It's real easy when you're running well and, and things are going right for everybody to get along. I, I describe myself to a lot of people who don't know racing, just like the football head coach. I've got coordinators and I've got players and I've got a quarterback who's the driver and we've all got to get along and we've all got to mesh and we've all got to have the same plan or uh, or there's a breakdown. You know, I was I was fortunate. I was all state in three sports in high school. My best sport was wrestling. I was able to get offers to go wrestle in college. I wrestled at Division One level. Um, stick and ball sports and athletics was, was deep rooted in, in my background. Uh, and then I got the racing bug through my uncle and through my grandpa who, who owned a, a, a mechanic shop uh, growing up. I, um, I knew this was a way to transition to where I could be a coach, could be a leader, uh, but still get that, that drive I got from racing cars. Uh, there's nothing more I want to do than be on the pit box on Sunday, kind of controlling the race with my driver and, and controlling the team and kind of having a game plan. That, that's very much like, like what a head coach does. Um, and I get to do it on, a, on a, the highest professional level of autosports.
Well, I mean, immediately is, is try to win the Daytona 500. I know that's a big one for everybody. Um, that would be a super special one for Eric. And you've done it twice. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I've, I've been lucky enough to do it do it a couple times. Um, Eric's a great speedway racer. All you can do is, is, is try to put yourself in a position. We, we were close this year. We, we put ourselves in a decent position. Um, it just didn't work out, and, and that happened. So the goal would be to, to put yourself in that position for the 500, but primarily, there's a lot of, there's a lot more that, that's going to have to go into 2023 in, in speed and race cars. As a, as a manufacturer, as an organization, we, we need to get more performance out of our vehicles so that when we miss the setup a little bit, you still can qualify well. You can still have a chance to win a race. Drivers who enjoy drafting, they, they excel when they get there. Guys that are dreading wrecking or being caught up in the mess, they don't run well. I enjoy that challenge. I think it's fun to try to, um, and that's why I talked about the Daytona 500. I, I, I want to go sit on the pool at the Daytona 500. Start the season off as the fastest car in the field. That's my goal. And then go try and put ourselves in a position to win. And, and there's a lot of luck and things that get involved in that. But um, building speedway cars that go fast is just fun to me. A lot of guys just kind of take that week off. And it doesn't matter once you get in the draft. But that, that part's enjoyable to me. Racing up. Uh, guys have been you're on the you know same fox family yeah you guys have been able to like, what is that like it, it, do you just like shut it off and then go all right we're in tv analyst mode it, it, it does help but by the time we, we're, we're on the show together we, we've talked about how good the day was or how bad the day was and but when we go to the race hub they they do an awesome job of setting it up to where we can just be ourselves Eric and I don't really have to prepare to talk about the sport. It's real easy for them to show a video and say, what do you think about that? We can just talk about what we think. Smithfield's allowed us to uh, run a Stars and Stripes uh, red, white, and blue car, and it, it looks good every single time. I've had to actually watch that paint scheme one time. Regan <laughs> actually drove my car in the Coke 600 when I broke my back, so oh. I didn't enjoy it as much that year. Yeah, then it wasn't yeah. as fun, right? It, but it was cool for you? <laughs> well, it was cool, and it's funny. We talked earlier in the show about crew chiefs and, you know, suspensions, everything like that. It was going to be my first opportunity to, oh. to work with Drew Blickenser. It's come full and circle. next thing I know, he's up in a suite. He was just Suspended. He didn't yeah. even get to all the race. Uh, yeah, we, we have all been at the Coke 600 with the with 43 car with Smithfield on it. Yeah. In, in a different form. Me, yeah. not on the box, in a suite. Yeah. <laughs> Regan in the car and Eric watching it. So. so we start the show talking about our day just a little bit, and then both of us kind of give our opinions the rest of the, rest of the show on, on what other people had going on or, or the big news of the week. and Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Victor Lane, okay? Tell me about it. We'll talk about it there. You're going to tell me all about the race game, okay? No problem, Chucky. Chucky? And he wishes you good luck. All right, Chuck, give me knuckles. I'm going to do whatever helps us, all right? Whatever helps us not hurt them, but puts us in the best spot to be there when we need to be there. Trevor. Have a good day, buddy. All right, buddy. Let's uh, go be aggressive. You can uh, use your judgment on Bell when you need to. We uh, we'll see you with confetti on that thing when uh, next time next time you park it. Let's go have some fun today. Three. Half back one. Still inside. The outside though, getting a big push. It's almost clear. Here you in the five. I have four up here, we'll see. Four, three, two, one, right here. We'll straight foot on the brake. Good, 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 go, 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 go. One lane, one lane, one lane, one lane. So clear high. All clear here. Coming back outside now. 14. Yeah, good job with the car, guys. That was the best car. That's the best Speedway car we've had all year. For myself, it's, it's real easy to get beat up in this sport. It's it's challenging, it's super hard, there's not many winners. Um, going through tech is nerve wracking. You know, the, the whole process uh, really weighs you down. Keeping those those in perspective and always just having a, an environment to where people can talk and, and have fun. Uh, we get to travel around the country and race cars.